Alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to Boardwalk Hall and the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for a much-anticipated main event. A lot of talk. Opening stanza of this 12-round fight. A headshot block. Is there any advice that you can give in a matchup like this of speed versus speed, where maybe one guy can go and utilize a completely different tool, like try to be a power puncher on a given night, or do something ultra defensively that could be an advantage? Yeah, misdirection. You know, the guy's gonna be real keen, both guys, because they know they have somebody who's so fast in front of them. So, start one hand. He's gonna be looking, he's gonna react. Start the right hand, just a little flinch of the right hand, throw the left hand instead. Misdirection. Precise at all by Pernell Whitaker. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter punch. Yeah, that's the old Casper the Ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang, come right back with your own. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Good left hand able to land. Hit the body, baby. Body blow. Not able to land the uppercut. Keep working the body. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. <gasps> really on the mark with that over the top shot with the right hand. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Round two is underway. Up top with the right hand. One, two. One, two, that's it. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Yeah. That straight right, unable to connect. Oh! One punch power has ended this fight. Can you believe that? There is no way he could continue on. It is done. Bernal Whitaker's able to come up with a knockout victory, and he does it that early in the fight? And does it with one shot that he never saw. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us.